Mischief Thrills. What's up, family? It's your boy Nate, aka Tabasco Sweet, and you're watching Cheap Thrills. It's Tuesday, my guy, and you already know what time it is. Time for some more DIY. I'm back with my bullshit family. Now today, we're gonna show you how to turn your closet into a full-blown recording studio. Now to help me pull this off today, I'm gonna be joined by the best DIY music producer on this side of YouTube. It's my boy, Frank C. Come on in, my guy. Hello, everyone. I'm Frank C. I also exist in this universe. Tabasco sweet, you be looking hella spicy and extra sweet. Thank you, my guy. You're welcome. Looking pretty fresh yourself. Thank you. I actually just got this at the Goodwill that uh, we were shopping at earlier. That's right, family. We hit the Goodwill in search of everything we need for a home recording studio. We came, we finessed, and we conquered. But if you want to see that part, skirt on over to Frank's channel. You too can learn to become the next biggest mumble rapper, producer, musician. That's right, family. Once you're done watching this, wash it down with the dopest collab of the century. Peep the link in the description. Now we're trying to be the next Lil Pump and Big Head, but before we can make the next chart-topping mumble rap slapper, we're gonna need a studio. All right, so Frank, whoa, your glasses are all fogged up, man. Oh, that just happens when um, I'm ready to produce a fire beat. I get a little bit steamy. Damn, I can already tell. We're about to make some serious heat, family. We're gonna be cooking up the latest trap beats in this uh, do-it-yourself home recording studio. So what are we gonna need for that? Well, first what we're going to need is a small space that we can record in to get the absolute purest sounds. Check. Next, what we're going to need is something to absorb the sounds. I got blankets for days, family. Got him. Nice. Next, you're going to need a microphone. Check. Because the salacious beats are obviously going to get moist in that studio, we need a spit screen so that our beats could remain dry so that we can light them on fire. So I guess you could say things are gonna get pretty slippery. Excuse me? Got that covered though, family. Hanger and pantyhose. And then to add to the waviness and vibes, you need a very colorful light. It's a vibe, family. Before we can turn uh, the closet into a recording studio, we must take everything out of the closet. Mind if I hand you these? No, I do not mind. So how long have you been a DIY music producer? Basically all of my life. Ever since I was in the womb, I was cooking up fire beats, but it took me until about the age of teenage years to start making my own music of my own. So how'd you get into it in the first place? Well, what I first did was I used to make 8-bit music and I used to upload it on YouTube. For everyone who, who uh, remembers that, what up? Uh, also, I made a new video game 8-bit instrumental album, which is now available on Spotify and Apple Music, so you guys should check that out. And then as time went on, I was like, you know what? Trap music, hip hop music, modern day pop music sounds a lot like video game music. So I turned my video game music into pop music. Yeah, well, you're a very passionate musician and a fast talker. Thank you, I've been practicing this for a long time now. So as a producer, who's your biggest influence? Myself, I make the best beats. All right, well, all the clothes are out of my closet, what's next? So what we're going to do is we need to soundproof this small space so that we can get the pure essence of our sound. In order to get that done, I'm gonna hang these where the clothes used to be. So next what we're going to need to do is set up our microphone. Ooh, it's kind of a tight squeeze in here, my guy. I'm always feeling a little claustrophobic. We need a tight spot in order to record the best sounding vocals. And now we're going to need a mic stand to rest our karaoke mic on. There it is. What's your favorite karaoke song? Um, I Believe I Can Fly by R. Kelly. And what do you know? We're trapped in the closet right now. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night. Nate, what is your favorite karaoke song? Fat Lip by Sum 41. When I pull up, I'm storming through the party like my name was El Nino. Your boy had an emo phase. Next, what we're going to be making is a do-it-yourself pop filter so that you won't get saliva all up on the microphone. Yeah, I'm not trying to take that mic to the splash though. So first, you want to straighten out a hanger. So do you remember the first song you ever made? Yeah, it was called The Crows Are Gonna Eat You Alive. I was in middle school and I was attacked by a bunch of crows because I found a very shiny rock on the floor. And I picked it up and a lot of crows wanted that shiny rock for some reason. So they started like jumping at me and flying at me and it terrified me so much so that I wrote an acoustic punk song about the crows going to eat me alive. Crows are f***ed up on some next level shit. Your boy's been clocking in mad hours with Animal Planet and I learned that crows are the only birds that have the concept of revenge. 
the more you know, family. I don't even know why the crows would even possibly want revenge on your boy Frank Jab C, but um, I still haven't forgot about that. So is that slap you wrote about the crows available anywhere online? Not anymore, family. Like many of my songs and music and videos have been taken off of YouTube for piracy. Remember kids, don't uh, pirate software and then upload videos of you talking about how you pirated software. Or you could just not get caught. But honestly, you've got mad street cred for going to YouTube jail. YouTube jail wasn't that bad. A lot of my contemporary successful SoundCloud rappers and musicians have also been incarcerated. All right, well, let's get cracking on this pop filter. And you wanna take your hanger and bend it into a circle, almost like a lollipop. Now, I'm just gonna tape this off. So, Tabasco, you ever uh, rap before? I've always seen myself as more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. But, you know, I think I'm ready for my big debut. Your boy's gotta get some shit off his chest. Music is cathartic. Whoa. Frank Jav C, going through with the SAT words. So what you're gonna wanna do next is cut the stocking or pantyhose down to size to put over the pop filter so that when you're spitting those fire bars, you don't get the microphone moist. Now, you just stretch this bad boy over our loop. Now we don't want this reservoir tip, so we're gonna tie it off and cut it. Now just hold this end tight and I'm gonna tie it off with some duct tape. And if you're worried about getting some serious side eye for buying these, just send your moms in to do the pickup. And now our pop filter is complete. So now that we have our pop filter complete, we're going to attach it to the mic stand. Take the wire and wrap it around your mic stand and use some duct tape to secure it. So now that you're attaching your pop filter to your microphone, make sure that the pop filter is a few inches between the mic and your face. Now, no recording booth is complete without some vibey lights. So right here I have a red light bulb to stimulate the root chakra. For those of you who don't know, the root chakra in uh, Kama Sutra is the part where your genitals are. So this will really stimulate those beats to be really sexy. And also uh, because red, um, red means record. Facts, family. It's a vibe. Not only can I feel it in my root chakra, I could also feel it in my third eye, if you know what I mean. Now that we have our mic set up with our soundproofing and our microphone stand with pop filter and a vibey light, we're ready to record our producer tags. Can't believe I'm this far into my SoundCloud career and I don't have an official producer tag? Your boy's been caught with a dead giveaway, family. Producer tags are very important for your rap beats so people could know uh, who you are and what your name is. What's your producer tag anyway? My producer tag is, this is a Frank Jeff C exclusive beat. Ah! Damn. That's a hard act to follow. How do I come up with the perfect producer tag? A producer tag is a lot like a spirit animal. While looking for it, it will also find you. Or maybe what you could do is just rattle up a bunch of your catchphrases into the microphone. We'll record them and we'll see which one sounds dope. I got those on deck. I need more snare. Can you turn up the snare? Is the snare on? Yeah. Okay, a little more snare. Okay. Tabasco sweet. Fully unhinged. Sup, family? Very clean. Basco on these beats, family. Did you turn the hi-hat down a little bit? Real ones only burn backwards. Back up a little bit. Meet me in the middle. This rig is fully slammed. You already know what it is. Fuego alert. Hey, I think we found the one. Fuego alert. Well, thanks for coming on the show, my guy. I seriously couldn't have done this without you. Thank you so much, Tabasco Sweet. This experience was really sweet. Now I'm on my way to a successful mumble rap career. So if you want to see the most fire anime crossover of all time, be sure to check out my channel on YouTube known as Frank Jab C to see how we made this mumble rap beat. Link in the description, family. And make sure you tag us and pick some videos of you guys in your own home recording studio. I can't wait to hear the tracks that you guys are creating. Yeah, it's about to be Slap City in the Cheap Thrills fan. Make sure to keep sliding in with those requests in the comments. Stay boosted, family. Gang. Gang. Tabasco sweet. Frank Jab C on the beat. Hello. Whole lot of gang shit. Cheap Thrills fam 2018. Finessing the plug. Yeah. Finessing the Gucci. Ooh. Finessing some bud. Respecting your girl. Huh? Finessing that booty. <laughs> Finessing supreme. Ask if it's real. What? F*** do you mean? Ask if it's real. F*** do you mean? Huh? F*** do you mean? What?